I was privileged and blessed to join a company that from its inception, diversity was one of the key principles. We believe that in order to transform the industry, you need holistic and systemic change. The clients need to change, the urgency needs to change, and the production houses need to change. My name is Antonio Lucio. I am the Chief Marketing and Communication Officer of HP Inc. The HP Corporation split about two and a half years ago into two companies. I work for HP Inc. We sell printers and we sell computers, both to consumers and to businesses around the world. Our vision to create technology that makes life better for everyone everywhere is driven by innovation. Innovation needs to be driven by diversity. All the science in the world is there to prove that. And we have a company that firmly believes that diversity is a business imperative as much as a values issue. When we started this journey, at the most senior leadership level, we only had two out of 10 of females. Today, we have over 50%. In many of our lead agencies, there were no women driving creative strategy or account. Today, uh, the aggregate number of the five agencies is 52%. We also challenge them to improve representation of people of color, and that's the focus that we have for 2018. We associated ourselves with Free the Bid. Free the Bid requires that for each bidding project that at least one female director is, in, is included. When we started, we had not used one female director. Today, 12 months later, out of the 53 global campaigns that HP delivered this year, 59% of them were female directors. So we feel very proud of that, and we also feel very proud that Free the Bid has increased the number of bidding and granted projects for female director by over 400%. In the US, our brand preference scores has improved by six points. Our revenue per impression has grown by 33%. You cannot attribute this 100% to the changes that we're doing, but it is certainly one contributing factor to the amazing results that we're having as a business. I am incredibly encouraged. I think this is a movement. Uh, we're just one voice in a great choir, and I'm, I'm very proud to be part of my craft at this, at this historical moment. So I grew up in, uh, in Cadiz, Spain, which is a very small city of about 110,000 people. Then I moved to Puerto Rico when I was about seven, and I thought that I wanted to be a, a lawyer. I was grateful that the University of Puerto Rico had a political strike that closed the university for about a year and during that time I joined Procter & Gamble and became in love with this thing that we call marketing and it's been a, over 30 years of passion on this, um, this beautiful craft of ours. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.